guys welcome back uh, so we're going to continue from where we left uh, in the last video we discussed what actions and filters are and the different types of actions and filter function like your do action add action is from actions and the filters is uh, apply filter and uh, add filter okay um, there are action tags or hooks that run when posts are deleted categories are created or user is logged in more and similarly filter tags or hooks are run on messages uh, from custom taxonomies, post title displays, dates, and more. These are just a few examples of using these uh, hooks. Okay, and uh, how does the WordPress adds uh, the hook? So let's take an example of a WordPress uh, function WP publish post. So WordPress defines a hook called WP insert post. Okay, so this is the hook that we are defining using the do action uh, inside of the function which is WP publish post okay and um, you can tie your own function to this hook okay and they will be executed whenever the script reaches this point uh, so in this example whenever WordPress publishes a post using the WP publish post function it goes through the necessary steps to make it happen so whatever codes are being executed is executed over here and just before it's published uh, we are WordPress gives us the uh, hook which is WP insert post hook using the do action function okay uh, and when it moves to the do action function its first parameter is WP insert post hook any function which is tied to this hook uh, is going to be executed at this point all right now next is variable hooks so what are variable hooks variable hooks means that there are a number of hooks defined for combinations and uh, below is the example uh, of the variable hook defined in WP includes comment.php where publish to trash uh, would run when a published post is trashed. Uh, future to draft would run when a schedule post is set to draft status. Okay. So this is an example of a variable hook. So if you see that you know 2 is basically uh, you know constant and this is dynamic the publish and trash is dynamic okay so let's take uh, you know syntaxes of the do action now so actions are called with the function do action so basically whatever is hooked onto the do action whatever function is hooked onto the do action hook is called by the do action function so it can accept single parameters and it can accept uh, multiple parameters as well so the do action uh, this the first parameter will be tag which is the hook name and the second parameter will be the argument so do action uh, do accept uh, you know arguments that you might want to use in your custom functions so it makes uh, some arguments available to you either single or multiple and uh, whatever custom function that you're defining you can use that using the do action okay uh, it can also accept multiple arguments this is the hook name and you have multiple arguments argument one argument two and then you have do action reference array so this function basically takes multiple arguments but it takes in form of an array so this array will contain argument one argument two argument three and so on so instead of taking the arguments, you know, uh, separated by comma, it just takes one single array uh, as its argument, as its parameter, and it will contain, you know, several arguments into this array. So do action reference array is basically, that's what it is. Yeah. Now add action. So first thing, uh, do action is defined by uh, either you can define it or the WordPress has already defined the do action at certain points so that you can insert your code there for example that example that we discussed here the do action was defined here so when the script reaches at this point it will check if this hook has got any of the uh, functions registered if it is then that function is going to get executed over here so we will we can register that function we can hook that function to this hook using the add action function so yeah so the syntax of the add action is the first is the tag which is the hook name and it's a string format second is the custom function which is function to add the third is the priority now what is a priority uh, think about it if you had you know uh, 10 different functions that are latching onto the same hook uh, how would WordPress decide which to execute first because that, there would be times that you know probably you want one function to execute first compared to the other one 
So that decision is made by priority. And how it is decided is that lower the number, sooner it will be executed. So if this was, if they, they were two functions, uh, you know, latching on to the same hook, uh, same hook, then in that case, the function that is probably, uh, let's say, uh, one of the function has a priority of two and the other one has a priority of eight. So the one which has got a priority of two is going to get executed first uh, as compared to the one which has got the priority of eight. Okay. And then the next parameter is ex accepted arguments. So whatever arguments that are you know, given by the do action, the same number of arguments will be needing here. So by default, it's one. So if you don't define any number over here, then it means just by default it's one. Okay, uh, so what you can do is you can always go and check uh, where the do action is defined in WordPress and check how many arguments it is accepting and the same number needs to be here. Okay, perfect. Um, right, just a couple more things about the priority. If two functions have same priority, they will get executed in order they were added to the action. So there could be possibility sometime that you know two functions which are latched onto the same hook have got the same priority or priority 10. So how will the WordPress decide? So in that case, whichever hook is defined first is the one is going to be executed first if they have the same priority number. Okay. Um, so the value of the accept, accepted arguments, which I just mentioned here, can be different. Uh, by default, it's one, and it can be more depending on how many arguments uh, has been given by the do action. Okay, now how to find the number of arguments? Um, so to find the number of arguments and name of the argument for an action, simply search the code base for matching do action call. And then you can find it how many arguments are there. You can also click on... Uh, the link that I'm going to give you, which, uh, which also tells you, uh, you know, which WordPress file that uh, that particular hook is defined. So if you click on that link, it's adambrowninfo.php. As you can see, if you click on view all the hooks, it gives you a list of all the hooks. And if you click specifically on action hooks, this will give you all the action hooks, and this is going to give you all the filter hooks. So sometimes, you know, if you're searching it, like this control you know uh, in my mac it is command shift and f on a php storm and if you were searching a do action you can do that but uh, you know sometimes it may be difficult for you to find it depending on how many they are so how do i know how many parameters that do action would take so i can come over here click on the action hook or filter whatever you know and then probably search that filter uh, sorry search that hook so let, this is the name of the hook if I click on the hook it tells me that this hook is defined in WP admin includes plugin.php and the version number is 4.4 .4. so always scroll down look at the latest version and see which file it is defined in if you go to that file you'll be able to find the do action for the activated plugin hook this is the best way to find that because I I use it quite a lot and it's very helpful uh, okay cool so let's get back to what we were looking at so for example if you're hooking into save post you would find in post.php so this two actions save post so let's check it and we'll go back search save post hook as you can see it's here and scroll down to the latest version and it says post.php. Let's go to post.php, which is in WP includes. Post.php. Here it is. And the name of the hook is the save post. So let's do control F, save posts. here it is as you can see this is do action which is defined and it's giving me these many parameters so that's how you get to know how many parameters it accepts and um, so it accepts uh, 
yeah, three parameters here. As you can see, param int, param wp post, and, and so on and so forth. So whenever the script reaches over here, uh, whatever uh, function we have added using add action, uh, you, you know, with this hook, that is going to be executed at this point. And we can make use of these variable, uh, which will be available into our add action function. Okay, using add action with class. To use the add action when your plugin or theme is built using classes, you would pass your function to add action as an array. Okay, and with this as the first element, which refers to the name of the class and then the name of the class method, like so. So, for example, this was the class, wp docs is the name of the class. This is my pu public function construct. I'm using an add action. This is the name of the hook, save post. And instead of uh, you know uh, passing the name of the function over here, which should be the actually the next parameter, because if you check uh, add action syntax, the first is the hook name, and second parameter is the function name, our custom function. So this is the hook name, and this should be the custom function. But instead of just writing the custom function name, we will go ahead and pass in an array whose first parameter will be this, which refers to this class, and the second parameter will be our custom function name. And that custom function we can define as a public function right here and then do whatever code we want to write here do over here okay and then we can go ahead and instantiate this class using the new uh, method of the class and this is our object which will have the access to all these and obviously because it's a construct method the moment we instantiate the class automatically this add action will come into picture it will come into action okay cool next using add action with static function of a class so if a class is uh, called statically uh, then we would use the get uh, called class function in place of this because this is not available in a static function okay so the get called class returns the name of the class uh, the static method is called in and this also works if the class is extended Okay, so you can see this is the function. Uh, this is the class name that we have. This is the static function in it, and we are using an add action. This is our hook name, the first parameter. The second parameter should be the function name, but in this case, because we are defining it under the class, uh, we will pass it in form of an array. The first parameter is the get called class function, which gets me the name of the class. So if you go back to the first example, this was referring to the name of the class because it was a normal function but here because it's a static function instead of using this we're using get called class which is still going to be equivalent to the name of the class so it's similar because the first parameter is the name of the class but we can't get the name of the class using this that's why you're using get called class and the second parameter is the name of the custom function which we have defined here and then we can go ahead and initialize the class okay Cool. Uh, next thing is the remove action. Okay, so remove action basically removes a function attached to a specific hook. Uh, this method can be used to remove default functions attached to a specific filter hook and possibly replace them with a substitute. So the um, syntax is remove action, uh, your hook name, callable function, and its priority. Okay, so that's. Uh, tag uh, that's already defined that okay so remove action this is an example remove action this is the hook name and this is the function name if you don't define the priority then by default it's 10 okay so how do I know what is the default priority of this function and how do I know that um, you know uh, which are the functions that are attached to this hook okay so how do I do that so what you can do is so this is my theme So this is just one of the simple theme that I've put in. Okay, uh, in which I have uh, index.php and then I have some styling and then I have my functions.php Okay, and then there is a folder called examples in which I have wp debug, debug hooks so in this I have written some set of uh, you know quotes uh, 
So I'm going to explain that to you in a moment. So if we go to our functions.php, let's comment this out. And if we do WP filter, war WP filter, we will see an array. Okay. And what does this array do? This array basically gives information of all the uh, all the hooks that have the functions attached to them okay uh, so for example this is the query hook name is query and then you have the callback functions uh, iterations attached to them okay and then if you scroll down then there's link name and the callback functions with priority of 10 30 yeah so, but this is not very readable, you know, I really, very difficult to understand what's going on here. So let's make it more readable. Okay, so for that, what I've done is, in example folder, this is my debug hooks file, and I've written some set of codes, which actually formats them in a more readable way. Okay, so if I go ahead and include this file into my functions.php, Okay, it's going to do the same thing. Display all the you know information that we were seeing earlier uh, by using war dump wp filter variable, uh, but this time it's going to be a more organized way. Okay, as you can see over here. All right, now it's going to give me this is my hook name, and these are the two, in fact three, one, two, three, three functions that are attached uh, or hooked to this hook okay and these two functions have got a priority of 10 uh, this function accepts one variable this function accepts one okay and this function has a priority of 30 and it accepts uh, one parameter okay so similarly you've got other ones as well with different parameters values and things like that okay so this is more readable all right so that's the best part you know you can use this and uh, you can check as to you know how many functions uh, are hooked onto a particular hook okay and i think there are other ways also to find out as to uh, i think there is a function called has filter uh, which checks uh, has act, uh, has filter yeah has filter which checks uh, you know if a particular function is hooked onto a particular hook but that's only for one function uh, it won't tell me if there are more so if you want to know all of it you can do it by this way okay cool um, so coming back on to what we're discussing so you can use this to remove it and as you can see over here removing function attached to hook defined in a class okay so in case if it's you know if it's a hook that's defined in the class like this then you can go ahead and do global my class uh, which was basically this my class is an object I think uh, yeah name of the name of the class and then remove action and then the hook name and then go ahead and pass an array with the function name in my class so if action has been added from within class for example by a plugin removing it will require accessing the class variable it is also worth noticing that you may need to prioritize the removal of the action to a hook that occurs after the action added. You cannot successfully remove the action before it's been added. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to talk about the filters. Um, so goodbye for now.